If you're viewing the October eclipse or viewing the April eclipse outside the path of totality, then you should never look at the sun without protection. There are two eclipses coming soon to a country near you. An annular eclipse on October 14th, 2023, and a total eclipse on April 8th, 2024. On these dates, the moon will pass in front of the sun. In October, the sun won't be fully blocked from view, so you'll still need protection to see it. But in April, the sun will be completely covered and will catch a rare glimpse of the sun's swirling atmosphere. This period of totality is the only time it is ever safe to look directly at the sun. Both eclipses will be visible across the United States, but only certain locations are in the path of totality. Whether or not you see the total eclipse, you need to be careful when viewing the other stages. My name's Gillis. I do planetarium shows here at the St. Louis Science Center, and I'm the current president of the Cornell Astronomical Society. In this video, I'll be explaining how to safely view the sun, how to know your glasses aren't fake, and how to tell the exact moment it's safe to take off your eclipse glasses. First of all, besides totality, you should never look at the sun without protection. Looking at the sun can damage your eyes to the point where you could lose vision. You can only take off your glasses if you view the April eclipse in one of these locations where the moon will block the sun during totality. The October eclipse is not a total eclipse, so you'll need to wear protection to view every part of it. Before I explain the safe ways to view the sun, here's what you should never do for either eclipse. First, outside of totality, don't look at the sun with just your eyes. Don't use normal sunglasses. Don't use x-ray or film strips. Even if something looks dark, it is not rated for viewing the sun. Don't buy old filters or reuse old eclipse glasses. These can wear out over the years. Never look at the sun through an instrument that doesn't have a sun filter. This includes cameras and telescopes. Most importantly, don't use unrated solar eclipse glasses. For the 2017 eclipse, some third-party sellers sold fake eclipse glasses. The best way to avoid this is to buy from well-established brands. The American Astronomical Society has a list of trusted sellers on their website. But let's say you don't know the seller. How can you tell if your eclipse glasses are fake? Look for an ISO standard printed on the glasses, as well as these C and E symbols. If the company name and contact is printed, that's also a good sign. But the only way to know for sure that these glasses are safe is to test them inside. Do not start with the sun. Test your glasses inside first. Turn on lights in your home. If you can see any light at a distance through the glasses, then your glasses are not safe. As a final check, hold your glasses at arm's length in front of a light and make sure there aren't any scratches or dots on the surface where light could shine through. If you're viewing the October eclipse or viewing the April eclipse outside the path of totality, then you should never look at the sun without protection. You can either use a projection method, getting a long tube like this and cutting a tiny pinhole in the top, or using solar filters like eclipse glasses. If you're within the path of totality, then you'll need to wear your glasses until the exact time, the exact second of totality, then put them back on when totality is over. Totality starts at different times in different places. It's important to find the time for your exact location. You can find your totality time by Googling interactive eclipse map. The first result should be a NASA link that lets you pinpoint your exact location and look for the time in seconds that totality starts and ends. You can also visit the American Astronomical Society website to find apps for your phone. On the day of the eclipse, make sure you have a way to check the time in seconds, either on a watch, a clock app, or over Google. If you're going to a location where you might lose service, be sure to write down your totality times before you leave and bring a watch instead. It's also a good idea to choose a backup location in case your first choice has clouds in the forecast. Once you're in the right place, locate the sun before you look at it. Find a tall object or a friend and line yourself up with their shadow on the ground. Look down and put on your glasses. Once your glasses are on, 
it's safe to look at the sun. If you're a user of normal, everyday glasses and don't have contact lenses, always put your Eclipse glasses on top of your normal glasses or remove your normal glasses. To summarize, never look at the sun with just your eyes outside of totality. Locate with shadows first. Buy Eclipse glasses from a trusted source at the American Astronomical Society website. Never view the October annular eclipse without eclipse glasses. For the April eclipse, find out the time in seconds that totality starts and ends. Wear your eclipse glasses until totality hits and put them back on a few seconds before totality ends. Happy eclipse hunting, and I wish you clear skies.